Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sunday's A Link to the Past. Welcome back to all of you. Welcome back to me. It has been a hot minute since I have recorded. I was very sick, which is unfortunate, but I'm alive. Um, Zelda, maybe not so much. There are soldiers coming to the sanctuary. I think she was trying to call out a vowel in an attempt to play a little bit of Wheel of Fortune. Also, <laughs> I've been having some fits with my controller, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully you've all been doing well. I'm doing better than I was. Finally feeling up to recording a little bit. Last week was a bit of a, a poo-poo moment for me. We'll say that. Okay, didn't mean to fall into there. Great. We'll see how this goes. So the game is trying to railroad you into just going and saving Zelda at the sanctuary. But uh, yeah, we're not gonna do that yet. Eventually, you know, sometime today we will. We'll follow the rules of what the game wants us to do. Actually, are we still in the Lost Woods? I think we are. I got excited for a second, I think thinking that I had made it out. Yeah. So, I charge my controllers, usually, to keep them in good shape. But, uh, they don't always, uh, cooperate. So I've got it plugged in as I record, and, um... Sometimes the buttons get stuck, I think that's what the problem is, maybe? It shouldn't be like that, but, you know, it is what it is. Alright, so we're gonna actually head back to... The Death Mountain area, where we were a little bit ago. I don't remember where that is. We're not super far away from... The sanctuary itself so it is very easy to just head over there if you want to go right for it they're coming right for us if you want to do that but you know that's not what I'm about right now I'm gonna do my own thing here yeah so hopefully <laughs> this is gonna be an episode I tell you what um, it's the same cave that we came in earlier with uh, the old man. He's not with us anymore. Literally. I mean, he's not dead or anything, but... We, uh, we're gonna make do without him. And this is not the game doing this, by the way. This is my controller being very unresponsive, so... Please bear with me or don't. Your choice. Whatever you're into. Alright, so now that we're back on Death Mountain. Our objective here, we're going to be acquiring an item, oops, as we get hit by these big old boulders. We're going to be acquiring an item while we're up here. I don't know if this is a required item, I feel like it is, but if it's not, then we'll have it. <laughs> so this is the theme of today, is uh, running into stuff. We're actually just trying to find that portal from before. Which I don't think is this way. I think it's actually higher up and I'm wasting my time. That is a bingo. Alright. Well, that's fine. Yeah, this is uh, really unfortunate that uh, <laughs> I could potentially die twice on Death Mountain, but I mean, it does, live up, it does live up to its name, right? It's not called Live Freely Forever Mountain. Oh boy. <laughs> well, this is bad. This is the hand I'm dealt right now because, yep, that's probably for the best. But I think it will let us start up here. Oh, we have a fairy, which we just burned. That's cool. I don't need those. And I'm stuck because of my controller and because of the goblin here. <laughs> you know, it's always fun when you record an episode of a game on a channel that you are trying to build and grow and that you care a lot about. And, uh, yeah, it goes really, really well at all times. There's definitely nothing that could possibly go wrong. I do need to get whatever this controller I issue is figured out because this is very, uh, cumbersome. Ooh, I am just taking these big old stones to the face. Just get nope, no, no. no. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of fun when you... I honestly don't know why it's, what's causing this, to be honest. I want to say it's just because my controller is not fully charged and so it's like getting stuck on the inputs, but I could be wrong. It is it is very much so doing that. You can see I run into walls and I 
All right, let's try not. It's like, yeah, I'm not even pushing the buttons half the time. That's not me doing that. Okay. Mountain cave. There's the old man. There's Father Time. All right, it's a little bit further ahead. Yeah, this is gonna get really annoying if uh, I have to deal with this the entire episode. Which I probably will because that is the D-Mike special. And here at D-Mike Industries, we pride ourselves on trying to push through adversity. I don't know if it's like, if my controller is defective or something, but all right, we're gonna sneak right past you here. Just gonna sneak right past you. Very good. So coming up here, we will have access. <laughs> I'm not pushing the buttons that hard. I feel like I just need to be very precise in my button pressing. I'm not even holding the button down. I'm just like very gently tapping it now. Okay, game. Is this good for you? Do you like it when I gently tap it? All right. So one of the things that we grabbed in the previous dungeon was the moon pearl. That's the thing in the bottom right underneath swim. You can see that. No, like, I can see that's kind of middle, bottom middle. So that will allow us to remain as a human. In the dark world. So here we are with the, oh, there's a, there's a fairy in here. That's nice. There's a bee. And now that we have the master sword, as you can see, we can, are you going to try to hurt me? Yeah, you are. I think I can kill, oh, I can, all right. Don't kill bees, though, in real life, because they're very useful, unless it's a wasp. I don't know if wasps are useful, but they're kind of buttholes, so I guess I feel a little differently. But yeah, so, this is strange. People just cosplay and having a good time, Comic-Con. Um, so we have the Moon Pearl, we have the Master Sword. We have a gumdrop and a demon hanging out. Um, so, basically, the um, we have the ability. Oh my gosh! All right, are you done? It's like my my inputs. It's like giving a ton of them. This is almost like Twitch plays Pokemon. All right, just gotta not press the button a ton. Anyway, so. Um, we, <laughs> great, this level, this, uh, this level, this episode is going swimmingly. I want to please get out of the portal. Thank you. All right. So I think that there is a bridge around here that I need to take. There it is. is it <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully this is at least entertaining because this is, massively infuriating that to deal with, so. All right, but if you come up here, you can only do this once you have the Master Sword, so you're gonna wanna do this. It's good for you. I think, hold on. Um, I think we need to use the Book of Medora, maybe. Hold up the Master Sword and you will get the magic of Ether. Ether. Ta-da! There you go, so. I tried to do this earlier. Was not able to do it, so there you go. We have the uh, we have the proper medallions now. We are a whack MC. Would love to have the game. Yes, I hit the wrong button this time around. So we now can continue the quest. There we are. We're going to continue from the sanctuary, which is where the game wants us to be. And oh my gosh, wouldn't you know it? The sage is on the ground. Pants on the ground. D Mike, you're a second too late. One second. If only you wouldn't have uh, got caught moonwalking up Death Mountain. I failed. The soldiers have abducted her. They've taken her to the castle. Please. Oh. Well. Bye. See ya. He's like, I'm going home. I got the poops. Okay, so that's unfortunate. Okay. 
Also unfortunate is uh, this episode, that's for sure. But it's a good one, it's entertaining at least, right? That's what matters, okay. I like that I grabbed that heart and then immediately took a heart of damage right after that. We will steal these guys' life forces. I don't know where the castle is. Nope. Nope. Down and to the right. So the exact opposite way that I was going. Also, skull and crossbones. Seems pretty welcoming, right? That'll be fun. Get some cash money along the way. Hopefully you're all doing well. I'm feeling a ton better, by the way. As much as I try to push through recordings when I don't feel well, you know, oh, that's dumb. It's really tough to have a good clean recording when you're coughing every 10 seconds, and I don't want to have to edit that out, so. I know that heavily edited Let's Plays are all the rage nowadays, but I guess I consider myself more of a purist, where I don't edit them as much. I do that for a living, so. I try to just have fun. Oh, you butthole. I try to just have fun and keep things light and easy here. I mean, there's a little bit of editing from time to time, but I don't want to do a ton of it. It's like, um, I'll be places and someone will have a camera that they use with the intention of taking photos. And they'll be like, hey, D Mike, you do this for a living. Do you want to spend the entire experience that you are going to come and just have a fun time taking photos? No, I don't. And it really boggles people's minds when I tell them no. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, you don't, but you do this for a living. Okay. I mean, do people who do things that they do for a living always want to do those things for a living? I don't think so. Like, all right, so a little delayed input here <laughs> as to be expected. Can you back off, please? I need you to take about 5-10% to off that, sir. Yeah. So... Um... Yeah, I mean, it's just a little bit frustrating. Because I don't really have, like... I mean, I'm passionate about what I do, obviously. I like it. I'm very grateful to have a career that allows me to do fun, creative things. But, you know, at a certain point in my free time, I don't want to engage in those things. And people just cannot understand that. So, anyway, moving on. Still getting very stuck. I think we need to go outside. There were those um, spots outside on the upper level that had the uh, electricity blocks. Okay, can we please? <laughs> but now that we have the, um, the Master Sword, I think that... Nope, that's not the Master Sword. We can take advantage. I think that's just the only one. I said gates, plural, but looks like there's a nice Sheikah eye on the ground. I don't think that's what that is, but here we go. A little bit of an extension of Hyrule Castle to do today. Okay, this is fun. Actually, I should be able to, oh yeah, I'm gonna cheese this, maybe, until they hit me and then I'm not. Boop, got him, look at this. Oh yeah, who doesn't love sword beams? The only downside is I'm pretty sure that these sword beams are like super duper weak. Yeah, so that took a lot. Unfortunately. More of these goobers. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I love not being able to... Uh... <laughs> I hit the button for arrows and I hit the button for swords and neither of those things worked. All right. And you guys are running in unison now, so that's not cool. Can you back off, please? You got to break it up a little bit. But there you go. The power of the master sword. This very plain, untextured carpeting here. They could have done a little bit more with it. Come on, game. All right. So, oh, come on. This is really, really frustrating. As if I wasn't already bad enough at these games. Ooh, wait, fairy? Do I have... Yes. Let's do this. Where'd you go? Come here, milady. Tips fedora. Yes, keep it in a bottle. Some things here work really easily. Like, I'm not having... I didn't have any trouble with that. But apparently walking and engaging in basic combat is just a no-go. But anyway, one of the things I was watching recently was a video. Um, I don't know what his name is or what he does, but um, he makes videos, obviously. He uh, he does stuff like boundary breaking and stuff in games. I forget what his channel is called. It doesn't matter. I guarantee that he probably, if anybody watches this from that channel, there's no overlap with mine. So that's that Venn diagram is about as far apart as possible. 
not worried about it. But yeah, he was talking about how in like games like Pokemon, the uh, sometimes as like a like a an easier method of instead of trying to code space for like following the character around or like actually like coding the entire room as a in darkness like a fog of war kind of thing sometimes they'll just apply a a little filter directly on top of the player's character so that's pretty cool and this channel is interesting I, I enjoy those types of videos of like people taking new and novel approaches to looking at old stuff he looks at a lot of older games too but um you know, as random as I like to be in my videos when I'm like joking around, like if I watch somebody that's actually putting together content and I'm like, man, that was really cool that you shared all that. But sometimes, especially this guy, like his videos are so random where he jumps around a ton. It doesn't feel like it feels like he scripts them like he the things that he's saying, I don't think are random unless he's using audio from something else. I think he sometimes he live streams himself showcasing games, which is cool, but um, maybe he pulls the audio from that, but in general, I'm like, man, I don't know what on earth you're saying. Like, I am having so much trouble following you as somebody who gets distracted very easily when I'm in, um, in taking content, in taking, partaking, I don't know what the right word is. Oop, can I shoot you with my bow? Please. Nope. 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 Don't you do it. Nope. Stop. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> the proximity of these guys is way too close. But thankfully, there's a good amount of hearts in this part of this dungeon, this extension of the dungeon. I don't know if this is actually considered a different area. I think this is just an extension of said dungeon, but we're doing our best. It's a lot of fun. There we go. A little bit of a, a little bit of a late start. I got my shield out though. Remember, we went and got the. Uh, probably should stop using my. Uh, stop using my sword while I'm being accosted by Bowman. Mr. Bowman. All right. I'll have to give you a key right in the room that you're about to enter. That's fun. All right. And oh, okay. Going right back down the stairs. Did not hit that button. Man. That's the sound of this game being real dumb. Okay. Here we go. Ba -da 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 -da, this game is dumb. All right. If I could just hit the right buttons a couple times. These guys got like cool uh, tridents. That's neat. Oh yeah, I led that shot. Let's see what Sahadulala has to say. Listen, well, D Mike, even with the Master Sword, you cannot inflict physical harm on the wizard. You must find a way to return his own evil magic power to him. Alright, if you followed my my Link's Awakening Let's Play ages ago. Oracle of Ages ago, um you'll know that this is actually a um this fight that's coming up is pretty frequently redone in a lot of Zelda games. So just, you know, prepare yourselves. All right, so we're gonna have some pot real quick. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, whoop. Cannot shoot through the pot, which is not cool. It's kind of mean that they trap this guy in here. At least he has a long range item. And you can free him if you want, if you're feeling generous. I'm not gonna do that. All right, this is horrible. All right, well, we're gonna do this the right way. Okay, this is absolutely miserable. Whoop. Trying to hit the button for air. These guys are so fast. You're just so fast. If you could just stop. All right, can you get out of here, you goober? All right, that was 20, uh, 20 roops like that. All right, so we are just absolutely crossing swords right now. Projectiles. Whoop, got them. I like these, uh, I don't know what these guys are called, but I like their, their sprite. The Golden Knights. Are we in Vegas? All right. So once again, still very stuck. I'm just going to hang out here for a moment and uh, whoop. as long as I'm firing arrows, we'll be fine. OK, well, <laughs> the only problem with that is uh, I wasn't doing any damage. OK, here we go. Can you give me a heart? Because I hate the bing bong sound. How about you? Have a heart. Nope. Okay. Got a feeling we're about to go into a boss fight with one heart. That is exactly what's about to happen. I've got a feeling I should equip my bug catching net. I almost called it a fishing net, but it's not. 
Oh my gosh. He's been waiting for us. That's very kind. You know, sometimes when people get too ahead of the game, like they don't want to stop and wait for you. And you know, you you just kind of get a little flustered and anxious when that happens, but it's really kind he's waiting. All right. All right, we can see the last moments of Zelda's life. That's pretty cool. He didn't have to do this. He could have just totally taken advantage of her without us being present. Oh, nice. He even brought decorations. Okay, cool. The, the seal of... Oh, he broke the seal. Oh, he's going to be peeing all day now. Oh, man. That's not good. Okay. Am I not hitting the right buttons here because this is not advancing? <laughs> is my game frozen? Unless it's just playing the music in like a suspenseful way. What do I have to do to get this to go forward? How do I do this? Ho, ho, ho! Guess this is Santa. Okay. I don't think it's frozen, but it's like not... It's not responding to my buttons. Let's see. There we go. Okay, we're good now. <laughs> just needed a little bit of kick in the pants. Yeah, I think once my, when my controller is plugged in to charge it, it just does not comply. All right, the power of gold. The power of gold. Everything that glitters is gold. All right, I've got a feeling we got to hack some uh, curtains here. Yeah, this is a lot better. It's like when it's plugged in, it just doesn't want to respond. All right, who's ready for a boss fight? You mean to say you would like to be totally destroyed? I mean, some people are that. Depends upon what you mean, though. All right, so this is the, this is the fight with Aghanim. Um, it's the same kind of fight as in Link's Awakening, and um, same deal here. When he throws his, uh, when he th puts his balls in your face, he is going to be firing two different types of projectiles. I actually kind of want to take damage here. This is very annoying. Yes, we have the fairy. I don't have to hear that boop, 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 the entire fight. So you're welcome, guys. This is for you. Yes. Save us, Pink Maiden. There we go. Okay, now we're fine. But yeah, I'm going to show you something. Um, you can use the sword. Oops, was not paying attention. Forgot that that would be a thing. Um, you can use the sword to fire back the projectiles, but you can also miss and use the uh, fishing net. So one thing to be mindful of, when he goes to the center of the room, which I was not paying attention to because I haven't done this in forever, um, that's when he fires his big lightning attack. So when he's dead center on the top of the room, you got to get the heck out of there. Whoop, there you go. Yeah, you can do this with a fishing net. All right, so here's his lightning attack. You got to avoid that. Probably smart. All right, he's going to do... Yeah, I guess it's not guaranteed. I also don't know what the hitbox is for the... Um... The hitbox is for the fishing net. Or bug catching. I don't know, I keep calling it fishing net. Bug catching net. I have no idea. So, I'm just having fun here. Might as well make this fight a little bit more dynamic. It's kind of boring, but... Also, like the rolling drums in the back. You can tell if he's going to do the lightning attack or not. If you move left to right, obviously, he will follow you a little bit. It always feels like somebody's watching me. Right? So, if you move left and right and he moves with you, then obviously, you're safe. It's not the lightning attack. This is apparently uh, going to be more tedious than I would have hoped. It's a great fight, you know. Totally climactic. I mean, like... This was probably super cool. Oh boy, I might just <laughs> I might just use the sword. This is getting a little, a little ridiculous. Um, this was probably like a super cool fight back in like 1992 or whenever when this game came out. Like, yeah. All right. So the novelty of the butt catching net is what it is. But yeah, apparently it's like not super. I mean, I guess the sword isn't that much better. So whatever. Maybe if you lead this shot a little bit. We'll see. He's just really, really just slapping us right in the face of his balls. Just really getting us. And I don't know how big that hitbox is. That lightning spreads out quite a bit, so could be dangerous. Also, this apparently takes a million hits, so enjoy this. Oops, I was looking at the timer, not paying attention. It's not very good let's playing. There we go. Grug. No one says that. Well met. He's not ready to admit defeat yet. He's going to draw us into the dark world. So, yeah. 
This is kind of act two of the game. And the dark world is where we're at on top of this pyramid. But first, a message from our sponsors. Through the void, telepathy, great. Hopefully he's not looking at our memories. The place where you stand was the golden land, but the evil power turned it into the dark world. So there you go. He's broken the seal. Many peas await. This area is covered in pea, as you can see. Very gold. Golden chair. So we have to win back the golden power and rescue the seven maidens. So if you couldn't already guess, um, we got a lot more dungeons to do. And uh, yeah. So once we're done, we're going to come back here and uh, please make his wishes come true. Yeah, so we'll go and rescue those maidens next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. If you enjoyed this series, if you could like the video, comment on it if you want and subscribe. And I will catch you next time for more Super Nintendo Sundays with a link to the past. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.